Hi everybody, Ziv Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master, the surgical training for dentists. Welcome to this video, and in this one, I'm going to talk about the Benex extraction system, and I'm going to review this uh, product for you as I was posting uh, a few cases recently on social media, and I was getting a lot of questions about this product. Now, extractions are a really big part of my practice, and it's very important to do them properly, the problem is that sometimes they're not that easy. And if we have teeth that fracture under the gingiva, and sometimes even under the bone, it becomes very challenging in terms of removing the tooth with the least trauma to the surrounding tissue, because we always have to keep in mind that the focus during the extraction is not just removing the tooth, it's building a foundation for a future implant. So when something like this happens and you have a horizontal fracture in an upper central incisor that is sub-osseous, you will have a challenge or at least a dilemma in regards to what method of extraction you'd like to apply. So using forceps and elevators or more conventional extraction techniques can compromise the soft tissue because you just don't have the proper access without damaging the tissue. And of course, you have the option to reflect the flap but that in itself can also be damaging and compromising for obvious reasons. So I'd like to show you another option uh, in these situations that I'm now uh, applying exclusively when a tooth breaks uh, deep under the gingiva, under, under the bone level, uh, there is a system called the Benex system and it has a full surgical kit that allows you to extract root tips in a vertical direction without damaging the tissue. And I wanted to show you how this works. So basically the system has a few components and the concept is to create a preparation inside the root canal system, then engage an extraction screw connected to a pulley system that removes the root tip in a vertical dimension without damaging the bone or the soft tissue. So the first step is to create a preparation inside the root canal system using a set of drills and then placing an extraction screw inside the space that you just created. It's almost like creating a post space. And uh, for that, you use a very simple uh, screwdriver that is matching the extraction screw. Once this is stable, you connect a cable that in turn is connected to a pulley system that once the knob is being turned clockwise is then pulling the tooth in a pure vertical direction out of the socket, which is uh, obviously very, very atraumatic and doesn't cause any damage to the surrounding soft and hard tissue. Now, because this pulley system is laying against teeth, it's really important to cushion the support. Therefore, there is a bumper uh, seen here in white and there are different shapes of bumpers that you can use to prevent damage to the adjacent teeth. Now, sometimes we can use a small, uh, almost like an impression tray that you can fill up with some uh, putty, and that will also cushion the pressure on the adjacent teeth. The last thing we want is to pull a root tip successfully in damaging adjacent teeth. So when you connect all the parts and pieces and you do it properly, which is uh, a lot of fun, by the way, you need to make sure that you're drilling along the trajectory of the root and uh, similar to preparing a post space and that your extraction screw is stable. If it's not, it'll come right out. So make sure it's uh, well inside the root canal system using the screwdriver. So that's really the first step, screwing in the extraction screw, making sure it's stable. There are different sizes of drills, it's better to under-prepare, so there's some pressure going in. And once this is set, you use a pulling cable. On one end, it'll connect to the extraction screw. On the other end, it'll be fitted into the pulley system. Once all the parts are connected, you have a knob that you'll turn clockwise first. And as you turn the knob, the cable will be pulled towards the knob and then in turn pull the root in a vertical dimension. Now it's very important to place the Benex system in a perpendicular way 
to the incisal plane or the occlusal plane, depending on the tooth to be extracted, because you like the forces to be purely vertical, which makes sense. That's the whole idea behind this system. So therefore, there are bumpers uh, seen here in white that lay against the teeth to prevent any type of damage. Now, if for whatever reason there are circumstances where there are no adjacent teeth or they're damaged or prepared, you can use a small impression tray that is part of the kit, fill it up with putty, and custom make a bumper to lay against the teeth. So that's um, an option that you have. So once you have the extraction screw connected, the bumper in position, that's the time to start turning the knob clockwise. Do it very slowly because at some point you'll feel a strong resistance and that's when the PDL fibers are starting to be stretched. At that point, uh, it is recommended to stop, wait about 30 seconds and then turn it again counterclockwise. You have to have a little bit of patience. Uh, once you do this a few times, probably two or three times, the PDL fibers will develop significant inflammation. At some point they will tear and at that point, as you turn clockwise again, the tooth will be pulled in a vertical direction and removed out of its socket. Sometimes you hear a little click. Uh, I look at it as uh, you know opening a bottle of champagne sometimes and it's a, great, it's a great moment. So this system allows you to remove a root tip in a 100% vertical direction and creating a beautiful extraction socket with no damage to the bone or the soft tissues. So the indications to use this system, uh, anytime you have significant loss of coronal tooth structure, where using conventional extraction methods with forceps and elevators can create damage, especially since you're trying to prepare the site for a future implant or, or an immediate implant, and the root tip must be straight, otherwise it's not going to work for you. So this system works really well. Uh, you just have to make sure that you connect all the components uh, properly, that your extraction screw is stable within the tooth, otherwise it'll get dislodged uh, when you start applying the first forces. And you need to make sure that you have the bumper system laying against the adjacent teeth and having the pulley system perpendicular to the occlusal plane, so the root tip will come out in a purely vertical direction. And when it comes out, it's just a beautiful moment to see a root tip that is supposedly uh, a very hard extraction becoming extremely simple, also to the amazement of the patient. So uh, I love using the system and creating those um, clean extraction sockets that give me a lot of opportunities in terms of uh, what to do next. Now, sometimes uh, we can make uh, mistakes, and this is an example where I'm extracting uh, a, an upper central incisor. I used the screwdriver, I connected the extraction screw, connected the cable, and then connected to the pulley system. And you can already tell that the position of the pulley system is not perpendicular to the occlusal plane that can create some uh, forces that are not purely vertical, some buckle forces or horizontal forces as well, which is not a good thing. But as I was turning the knob, the root tip broke and I, was, I needed to extract the residual root tip with uh, conventional methods. So the question is, did the Benex system fail? And I think no, I think I failed. I think I placed the system not perpendicular to the occlusal plane and applying more horizontal forces, so that's one reason. And number two, my preparation for the extraction screw was not inside the root canal system. I basically had a perforation because I didn't follow the trajectory of the root and that caused the tooth to break. So that's the reason for the failure in this case. So I learned a lot from my mistake and I make sure that I place the extraction screw exactly in the root canal system to create vertical forces without fracturing the tooth. And I make sure that I place my bumper and my pulley system as perpendicular as possible to the occlusal plane. And for this particular case, extracting this hopeless canine, I turned the knob and nothing was happening. I was not able to 
pull the root with the Benex system and I didn't understand why. I did everything properly, but when I took out the tooth, uh, conventionally, I noticed there was a big curve. So obviously it was not visible on the radiograph and there was no problem with the system. It was just the root anatomy that prevented the vertical extraction. So I hope you found this product review of the Benex extraction system useful and valuable. Uh, I use it in my practice uh, for these situations uh, and I enjoy using it. It works very, very well. And in terms of getting it into your practice, there are obviously other ways to extract teeth in these types of situations. So it's not a must, but it's really great to have the system in your office if you can. It'll make your extractions uh, simpler, uh, less traumatic, and with better results in terms of the implant site preparation. So I definitely recommend uh, getting the system. This is a great product. If you found this video helpful and valuable, feel free to share it with other dentists. And if you're watching this on YouTube, or on Facebook, or other social media, feel free to hit the like button. Uh, give me some type of comment and response. I look forward to hearing about your challenges extracting teeth. And in the future, I'm going to create more product review videos to share my experiences with new products so we can all learn together, get better, and reach a very high level of surgical success.